And now, from your local election headquarters, the only locally produced political talk show discussing the issues that matter to you, this is Big Country Politics on KTAB. Thanks for being here. I'm Victor Sotelo. First on Big Country Politics, we have an update to the downtown hotel. Questions remain after county commissioners rejected a request last week from the city to help fund the project. Our Kelsey Pittman, ha Pittman has how they're trying to keep the proposed hotel alive. What could have been a bump in the road for the project? I don't think their lack of participation kills the project. But the city says it was prepared. It does make it more difficult, but... Uh, We've been working for that scenario in case it happened, and I think we have a plan to move forward. On Tuesday, the county saying the local hotels and other entities they spoke to are against the project. Hannah says a rising tide lifts all boats. Once the hotel is there, it's established, the market stabilizes again, they find that their businesses increase because we're able to attract a different conventions that have spillover effects to those hotels. Right now we're limited in the conventions we can attract. The hotel expecting to create over 200 jobs in around 125 long term and serving as an anchor downtown with more venue space along with an economic boom. The private sector says, look, I've got 200 people here spending the night. What can I do to take advantage of that and make a buck? While the city manager is not commenting on any specific financial information. I'm not going to answer that question. However, the mayor going on record at a November commissioner's court meeting saying the hotel is estimated to cost $60 million and they have $25 million raised. The city is still confident in the project with the backing of the private sector. Well, we can shave off enough of the risk to make it uh, prudent and appropriate for the private sector to, to invest their money in these projects. Um, that's what we want to try to do. For Big Country Politics, I'm Kelsey Pittman. All right, thank you, Kelsey. And Hannah says he didn't want to comment on the dollar amounts because negotiations are currently ongoing. Now on to legislative news. A Big Country Congressman has been appointed to a high-profile committee of the Lone Star State. Texas State Representative Mike Lang was appointed to House Committees on Homeland Security and Public Safety, Natural Resources, saying in a press release, quote, I look forward to working with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle we, while we work through the committee, the committee process. Lang represents eastern parts of the big country, including Brown, Eastland, Callahan, and Stevens counties. And Abilene Representative Stan Lambert was also appointed to committees in Austin. He was appointed to serve on Insurance Committee and Pensions, Investments and Financial Services Committee. Lambert is in his second term of representing District 71, which is compromised, uh, which is comprised of Taylor, Nolan and Jones counties. All right, still to come on Big Country Politics, we're talking street maintenance here in Abilene. That's a hot topic. We'll be back in two minutes.